Well, welcome back to Lavington 2. The uh, park was just performed by the girls from Altona who are celebrating their victory in, no, in very fine style. And uh, they've really um, got into the occasion. It was a good piece of... And it was a great atmosphere here at Lavington too. But anyway, we look got the next game on the on the agenda, which is the under twelves. And Farno, uh, a combination of a Walt Wodonga Aubrey side, and are uh, playing the Wagga side, and, and Farno's in the yellow. And welcome back, Gertley. A uh, bit of culture at the grounds, fantastic. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I've, I've really enjoyed this so far. Um, seeing the the hucker down there was quite impressive. It's it's been really good. So here we have the Wagga side coming onto the paddock. These are the under 12s. <coughs> bit less travel time between these two sides with an Aubrey Wodonga based side versus a Wagga side. Uh, only an hour and a half travels between them compared to the previous game. Yeah, seven and a half hours. But <laughs> Massive, yeah. How good the teams are coming from so far away to play. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a really great event. The Thunder started. Yeah, and, and since. Uh, since we've come out of COVID restrictions, and you know, it's great to see sport. And seeing uh, uh, this carnival's just blowing me away. Actually, the participation's fantastic. But anyway, we have our next game of the under 12s. Farno are in the team of the yellow. They'll be going to our left with Wagga. Going to the right. This is brilliant, though, that the, the girls are able to play um, some, some proper rugby league. I know when I was a young bloke, I used to get to about 11 or 12 years of age, and I used to stop the girls playing. Um, so for them to be able to continue on like this is great these days. Did you want to call out the players? So we have the kickoff here. Wagga going to our right. A big kick down for the world to pick up there. Running back to the middle, goes around the tackle of Sheridan. Well wrapped up there, pushed back in the back. Get a fire in that first tackle. Yeah. Get the ball, oh, knock on there. Change over. So Dot will play the ball. 30 metres inside. Good run there. Up the middle of the park there. Linking up. Linking up with Sheridan there. Thank Tackle. Passes on to Cook. Who goes through a couple, but three and four of the tackle there, pushing them back, the Fano girls. We play the ball. Out along. Five skill tap here, tap looks for a gap. And she's tackled 10, 11 metres out. Crossover play. Pushes it out there to Cook. Goes on the inside, takes them on. An overhead pass there. Looking, looking for Sharon again. He ties it up. Has she got room to get into the corner? But great defence there by the Fardo girls. Pushes Sharon over the cap and over. Good defensive set by Fardo there. Those sort of defensive sets on the line will uh, win games. So a bit of a no, it was a forward pass. No. Change over there. So the Wagga girls will be back on the attack here. Creek will play the play it, play the ball. Linking up there. Looks out for the for more. Enthusiastic defense there by the Farno girls. Come out to the right hand side, looks for the try. Oh, drops the ball over. Good defence there by Fano, and they bring it out from their own line. Once again, another good defensive set by Fano there. They'll, they need to really complete this one, though. And swarming defence there by the Wagga girls, led there by Petura King. Bit of a link up here outside. 
Fado pushes out to the right. Thank you. Tries with Dez. Tackled there by Cook. Good three tackles there by Fado. Comes out to the right hand side this time. Trying to link up. Good pass, good skills here by the girls. Runs straight and hard. Runs into Mook. Runs into Terraki again. Good tackle there. The under 12s are showing their skill set here this afternoon. And I'm sure at some stage one of these girls will get on the outside and show their pace. That's a turnover, six tackles gone. Even tussle currently at the moment. Yeah, it is an even tussle. Uh, the, the Wagga side has, has certainly had the best of possession. Uh, and they're looking on top at the moment, but things could easily change. That was Navilla. This girl's good pace here. Oh. Here we go. And she's off and scores. Great, great work there by Cook. Uh, finds a gap. Goes on, steps off the left, then goes off the right foot, goes straight for the line. Showed good speed, good agility, good sense, and scores. And uh, scores about 10 metres inside from the touchline. Cook has looked very, very dangerous so far. She's uh, been involved with three breaks, or almost three breaks, so. Farno will need to uh, concentrate on shutting her down. The first receiver for the Wagga side uh, brings a lot of aggression in defence as well. So Cook will attempt to convert her own try. No mean feat for a 12 year old, 20 metres out, 10 metres in from the goal line. It just gets along the ground. So we have a score line, which is Wagga 4, Farno nil, and we've got four minutes left in this first half. Important period of the game here for Farno to see if they can get their back on the back of the scoreboard and get a bit of field position. So they just play the ball here. And the tap restart, and she runs up, bumps and tackles. Well, that's good defence there. Heavy contact. Absolutely. Linking up with Dodd there. And Dodd's got some space down that left-hand touchline. Can she go all the way? The covering, and she does. And that's exactly what Farno what required. Dodd busted one and then showed her pace down that left-hand touchline and scores in the corner. And we've got a four points all ball, ball game. That's the first bit of half-decent field position Farno has had so far. Uh, so the, the fact that they were able to convert already is, it could be danger signs for Wagga. Really interesting game so far. So we've got three minutes left and the, the take the drop goal. Four points apiece. What are you doing? As far as I'm aware, this game will fall under the sort of modified rules of, of rugby league, which is why there's the first receiver and the, the dummy half bibs on both sides. They'll have a nominated player for each of those positions, and I think it's at least two passes per play. Yeah, and that's hence that's why they got that those those uh, vests on. Is that right, Kurt? That's right. That's right. Yep. Uh, just a way to, to get the the younger players uh, to distribute the ball a bit, pass around, and give them all a shot in different positions. It's all changed a bit from when I was that age, but it's uh, it's good. Yeah. So Creek there takes the first one up through the through the hands out there and dropped the ball there by Francis. Good good tackle there. And what are we going to rule here? Double knock on? Uh, knock on by Farno and the play the ball rule by the referee there. Probably could have gone either way. Uh, a little bit of creating in the ruck, but 50 50 call. I can go against you sometimes. So Gills Trap will play the ball out through the first receiver. Passes off to Moore. Three in the tackle there by Farno. Leaks up. Finds Hall on the right hand side. Goes on the inside, beats one. She darts back in and across to get there. 30 metres out, so another opportunity here for the Wagga side. Space out left. Brings it back on the inside, and here's Cook again. She's busy running very hard with the football. Bust one through two, taking three on. Ooh. And oh, 
it might have just been a knock on there. Ball could have bounced, it could have popped up in the hands, would have been try time in the corner there. And that was Hall that made that mistake. But Farno relieving pressure, four points all. We're inside the last minute of the first half. Not a bad game plan for Wagga to get the ball to Armani Cook. Uh, she's an absolute weapon. Yeah, and Ooh. Hard tackle back onto her back there. You can see these kids have been watching the NRL with their tactile techniques. And a bit of an out line here. Kenzie link up to the left. Bus one, bus two. Looks again. Good link up pass there. Well done there. Well done there by uh, God. And it goes through the first receiver pass. Gets it two out to the ruck. Big run up the feet. Held on. Bust the tackle of Sheridan. But she got, got back to her feet and tackled her well. And here's Farno again. Gets down that outside. Does she get on the outside of her? And pushes her into touch. And that's, and that's half time in this under 12s grand final. It's four points apiece. And um, what do you think, Kirtley? Who, who's your, who are you tipping? Uh, it's, a, it's a great game so far. I think if Farno can get the ball in a little bit better field position, they'll be uh, tough to stop. But, but Cook for the Kangaroos looks very dangerous too. I think I'll sit on the fence for this one. Yeah, good field position. So I think Farno will go in there fairly happy with the scoreline because they have, have been doing most of the defending took that one opportunity. But we'll stay tuned. We'll come back for the second half in a couple of minutes. Well, welcome back to the second half in this under 12s fixture. Farno playing Wagga, and an even scoreline we have is four points apiece. So, whilst but whilst they come back on the field there, Kirtley, uh, who have you identified as a couple of game breakers here uh, for the possibly for either side in the second half? Well, no doubt, uh, young Cook for Wagga is looking very, very dangerous. She seems to bust about five tackles every time she touches the ball. And then young Dodd for Farno looks quite dangerous as well. Scored a good try down the other end. Has made a few uh, damaging runs. So I think those will be the two key players uh, this second half. I'm excited to see it. Very close game. High quality game. 
Yeah, so four points apiece. As the sun just goes down a bit here at Leverton 2 Sports Ground. So someone will come out victor at the end of this nine minutes and we're away. Picked up. Oh, and here we go again. This is a big opportunity to score down the far side. And she's just picked the ball up and gone end to end. And unfortunately, I, I, I can't identify her. Uh, it's Cook. Hey? That's Cook. That's Cook? Yeah, I think so. I think Cook has taken the, the job on and... Uh, and uh, well picked there, Kirtley, that uh, she's just picked the ball up round the edges and scores and makes it eight points to four. I don't know if that was in the half-time meeting to kick it to the most dangerous player. Probably went, <laughs> went as expected somewhat. But very, very strong damaging run again there. Um, high quality. Yeah, well, he's definitely uh, taken the four. opportunity and they scored inside 30 seconds. Don't kick to the yellow bib. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so Farno, start again. Good run there by, by Bailey there. Linking up to the left-hand side. Bouncing, bumping run there. Down that left-hand touch line. She pushed out. She pushed it a touch. Good strong run there. Just got a little bit too close to the sideline. So Cook's through the distributions there for the passing. Good run there. The good trap. Tackle two and three in the tackle. Passing it off there through to Navilia. Cook pass, good run there. Picks the gap. Great run there by Conley. Good tackle there by the Farner girl. The set beats the first one. And Cook takes off around again and stripped of the football. Farno's got an opportunity now. A little bit of field position. We'll see if they can make it count. Just... So they bring it on the left. Good, good skill set here. Ball and all tackle there. With Paul and the video helping out. Bumped and put on her back. Good defense there by the Wagga side. Links up again. And this is Dodd, the danger person for Farno. And tail still going. Two and three in the tackle. What a fantastic run. A great sign of strength there by Dodd. She's trying to get him back into this game. Good run up there. Five metres out, but that'll be a change over. Fifth and final tackle. So, once again, good defence by the Walker side there, Curtly. Yeah, it was. Good defensive set. Uh, important to keep them out there. They'll be looking to, to complete this set now. So, Dodd's doing the trafficking there as the uh, first receiver. Darts out of dummy half. Good tackle there by the Farno girls. Ball and all, they're well drilled. These both these sides are well drilled for under 12s. Bit of a link up chance, a bit of a wide chance there. If she could have got the ball away, and this is the Villa. Well, well taken there. Good completion there, it's much needed. Let's see if Farno can do anything with the ball now. And Conley, and Conley one on one strip, finds it off. Uh, I dare uh, say in the modified rules there'd be no stripping, would be my call. That would be fair.
Although the players look a bit confused, so. There's a degree of confusion there. One-on-one -on -one strips not allowed. That's what the referees ruled. <laughs> referees Con always right. And Conley Con Con just throws her hands in the air. I think, well, sir, that's a try in my book. Anyway, Nabilia's there taking the tackle over the top there. Good link up pass there. Out to the left. Good set of hands. And this is God. She'll be dangerous as we enter in the last three and a half minutes of this game. It's eight points to four to the Wagga side. Let's see what expansion there that the Fano side has. They've got some very strong ball runners, Fano. Wagga looks well in control at the moment, though. Yeah, but big, big attacking chance here for the Fano team. Three and four girls. She's still going. Bullocking run. 11 metres out. Fifth and final tackle. What expansive play can Fano put on now? They put the kick to the air. Grubber kick. Looking for the knock on. Ah, oh, well tidied up. Well tidied up by the Woggers. Woggers girls. And they will bring it back out from their own line. Long way to go with under three minutes in this final. And here goes Cook again. And Cook is going to take them on again. And she's away. Can she... Comes back into the field to play. Gets an offload. That's to Moore. And Moore goes through one, through two, through three. Sorry, and this is Plum that scored the try and gone underneath the posts. And after beating several tackles, scores underneath the uprights to make it 12, 12 points to four to the Wagga side. Jeez, that was a great try. That was about... 12 tackle breaks involved there. Uh, that'll go a long way towards Wagga uh, winning this grand final today, I think. Four, four. Kick the so here's Plum to convert her own try. Straight in front, chips it over. And that's the first conversion. So we have a 14 point to four score line of this under 12s. Fixture at Lambert to two. And we have under two minutes left of the, of the contest. and. Uh, the Walker Kangaroos have done the job here this afternoon and they've played both, but both teams currently have played fantastic football. Yeah, the skill level, the defence, uh, the running ability on display here, especially considering under 12s, uh, really, really great. So congratulations to both teams on making it this far and a, and a great game today and congratulations to Wagga on likely winning it. Yeah, look, at, I love the Fano the jerseys. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? They are fantastic. Heaps of colour. I've noticed they're sponsored by Hard As Concreting. That's Tommy Gemmell's company, uh, Aubrey Thunder legend. So let's see if Fano can get some points back on the board here. Just sort of get the scoreline a bit more respectful. Good offload there. Took three tacklers on. And she comes up, breaking up the middle. Linking up here. All the kids. Great to see girls playing tackle football. Yeah, it's been a really good day so far. Very enjoyable. Come back here to the right. Will she, oh, great ball and all tackle there. Does she get out of it? That was all there. Come back to fence and that's a changeover. So we're inside the last 13 seconds, so it'll be a, a Walker United, a Walker victory over the Farno side, 14 points to four. And so congratulations to the Walker side who win the grand final here in the nines, uh, sponsored and run by the Albury Thunder football side, 14 points to four. And uh, Kirtley, your final comments made on that okay, fixture. Yeah, no, great great quality uh, game, particularly as I said, considering the age level involved. And it's just it's really great to see girls and playing tackle football. I uh, really enjoyed that. Thursday Cook was very girls. damaging for Wagga. Well, we step up to the step up to the next time with our under 16 fixture, our next game. Look forward to seeing you shortly.
Yeah, yeah. 